It's time to get your quick fix with the remix. I'm Remixless and I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. It's a new year, so it's time for a new video update. I got a lot of positive reception from my last video, so I hope you all enjoy this one. We're going to do things a little out of order, as I hope to catch your attention with this mining and battle scene. While the enemies still won't attack you, I had a rift spawn right next to where I called in my thumper. This little bit of luck gave me a feeling that the enemy was trying to stop me from mining. One enemy even accidentally jumped on my thumper. We will still need a better inventory UI and for enemies to attack us when mining, but this will form the basis of our first style of objectives. This event on screen kind of gave me an impression that made me feel like we're close to being in a full alpha stage. Let's look at the new shiny things. The first item that may stand out is the compass bar, located at the top of the screen. I really enjoy when games do this, but I hope we can turn it off or make it smaller. Concentrated UI elements in combat are important to a lot of gamers. The compass works with the new scan system that is used to locate mining pools. You can harvest the materials and they go into your inventory system, but I couldn't get it to display properly. I might have messed up my key bindings. You can still collect items, you just don't have a traditional display of the items collected, uh, more of a spreadsheet. I made a slight error in saying the enemies can't attack. The first attacking enemy was added and it's this yellow Tsihu. It has a lock on grappling hook whip ability that quickly drags you to the ground killing you on impact. The whip can be avoided though by killing the Tsihu, dodging the attack, or escaping the lock on ranges. Right now, if the creature locks before you hit the ground, it will remain locked on and attempt to kill you. I had one time that the game bugged and I got stuck on the terrain and couldn't move anywhere. I had to relog to fix the issue. A cool little change that was added is using the Comrose to change your Omni frame skin. Currently, you can swap between a green or a red frame. I got some feedback about people complaining about the skin sales, and while I don't want to discredit your opinion, the devs let us know in the Discord that each skin is a new frame, not just a coat of paint. Use that information how you please. Finally, the menus have been updated a bit. Key bindings can be reassigned, and you can have multiple options for each keybind, so if you want two or three buttons to be assigned to the same keybind. I may have missed these options on one of the older builds, but being able to set your numerical sensitivity is a big deal for us. It allows us to easily share optimum profiles instead of having to guess our sensitivity. Although, I'm not so sure we really need more than three decimal places. The community can let me know if I'm wrong on this one though. I also like that we can adjust how off-center our frame is from the screen, and here's an example of what I mean by that. One final bug I may have encountered is with the calm roses. Sometimes the menu disappears while I'm trying to select something. This happened about half a second after I brought up the menu, and basically caused my rose to flicker when I was trying to select an item. This may be a connection issue though for me, as I don't have the strongest internet. Well. That about sums up the changes. I hope you all enjoyed the update. If you did, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on the latest changes. I'll catch you in the next one, and as always, keep it real and keep it on Remix.